Stay the love, stay the love. Ah, 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 I'm 55. Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody. It's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences. Yeah, sometimes I moonlight as your old pal, and sometimes I'm just Uncle X Lights. You know, I remember way back I used to ask, why can't we see what groups our models might be in? Wouldn't that be nice, you little whippersnapper? Well, now we can. Now we can with Dot 55. And oh my goodness, this is going to save me so much time setting up my show this year. Oh, what's that? You've already set up your show? Well, there's always 2021, and that'll work. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Never bite the hand that feeds. So don't bite me. Anywho, I really think this is pretty cool. I, I, I think this is really, really nice uh, that this feature has been added in. It's something I've asked about for, I don't know, a long time. And it came out today with 2020.5 from X Slides. And looky here, enhancement. If you get an enhancement from Keith, it's usually on the top line here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Show the groups a model or its submodels belongs to in the model properties. And all the rest of this stuff is noteworthy, too. Uh, Dan did a bunch of fixing on some things here, things that I may not even understand. Um, but 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 read through it. But the purpose of this video is something that I think is uh, relevant and needed. And I wish we'd had it a long time ago. But you know what? Better late than never, I always say with open source. Here we are. Now when you click on a model, it will tell you in a new little screen here, new little row in model groups. All models group. That's right. I put my individual models in all models group. It's probably better that you don't put groups within groups if you can help it because things get catawampy sometimes when you do that. It's just a recommended practice, but you know, do what you want. And then you can see here, I also have it in my mini trees group. What's nice about this, what if I accidentally put my starburst in a group? It would show here. It show here that maybe that's not supposed to be here. So it's a nice thing uh, to have a, a nice little peek at what is this in? What, what's going on here? The starburst is in that group, that group. I got it in spokes groups. I got it all over the place. So I really do appreciate this because it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. Uh, this uh, pixel pole happens to be an all pixels pole group, pixel poles tall group, and the pixel poles group. And that's where they're supposed to be. Isn't this ingenious? Can it get any better in 2020? Let's hope not. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, are you saying that I should go ahead and upload, download, get the new 2020.55 run? Are you saying that? Are you saying that? Are you saying that? What do I do? What do I do? If your show's running, stay where you're at. If it's broken, what you got to lose? But if your show's running fine, why would you update to a new software? Why would you do it? Be sensible. My good pal Paul Glavin taught me the full meaning of the word sensible, and I'll never forget it. It's different when you hear it in English, by the way. You should try it. Anywho, um, when your season's over, if your show is working, uh, check out 2020.55. And by that time, it'll probably be 2020.65 or 75 or 99. We don't know. We've never gotten this far. You guys have a blessed rest of your holiday season. I know I said I wasn't going to make another video, but guess what? This is something I've been wanting. And for me, it feels like an early Christmas present for 2021. All right, got to go. See ya.